Okay. So here goes. What's up with Gemini in the month of April 2021? Spirit guides. Any messages? Any messages? For Gemini. You know what? I just started. I'm not going to keep those cards. It was a little bit too quick. Gemini for the month of April. Messages for Gemini for the month of April. Are there messages for Gemini? Anything they need to know about the month of April 2021? The month of April. Okay, it's the same card that flew out before. That's definitely a message. It's an emperor. So that's good. Someone's there to help you out. Message for Gemini, month of April. Any messages for Gemini? What's going to happen in the month of April? How's it going to be? What's it going to be? What's going on with that? Any messages for them? Messages for Gemini. April. Okay, wow. Look at that. There's an emperor, king of swords. So this is, uh, someone's going to be talking to you. Um, well, you're going to be receiving messages, intellectual messages from people that are high up. People who are like um, like a cop or a lawyer, or just somebody who's very who has authority. <clears throat> and my message is for Gemini for the month of April. Oh boy, all these cards just want to shoot out. <laughs> oh, this is so. Oh, any messages for Gemini for the month of April? Messages for Gemini. Come on. Any more? Okay. Alrighty. So, here we go. These two are not good. But it looks like everything will work out in the end. Okay. A lot of cards. All right, so okay, so it looks like you're going to get some messages from somebody with authority. Uh, something you know, this guy's very good, they're both very nice, uh, very kind gentlemen. Could be females as well, very kind people with authority. Uh, could be your mother or your father, you never know. Uh, well, maybe you're, you know, the person you're married to. But anyhow, you're going to get some great ideas, some good messages from them. They're going to help you out. Um, Nine of Swords is total exhaustion. Uh, you feel like you're being bashed. You just can't take it anymore. You want to stay in bed. And, uh, you know, look a little depressed, getting down. And, oh dear. And then the Tower power comes along and that means uh, something's going to break apart. You could be moving out of your home or kicking people out or um, getting a divorce maybe. Maybe that's what this is all about. But um, yeah, so this could be a psychologist. I mean, you never know. Anybody who's feeling depressed and feeling like their home is just being destroyed. Okay, the coronavirus is doing that to people, making them very depressed. And they do feel like they're losing their homes and losing their life. And that's the tower. There you go. And the Page of Pentacles is a very kind, gentle person. Um, 
It's going to bring you a message about something financially or maybe materialistically like because it uh, looks like something's happening in your home and this person's going to help you out with materialism or financial. Uh, Three of Pentacles is things are going to be working out very well. And you know what? This is all money. For me, I think Pentacles is money and money is coming up. And also material um, items and things that you need are coming forth. The Queen of Cups is a very loving person, very kind, gentle, nourishing person. She will help you. Uh, this is another person who has authority and um, very kind and gentle and she will help you out. Uh, let me see. You will. You are suffering. Something's happening here. You know what? It looks like a divorce. But it just could be that um, you're going to get rid of whatever it is that hurt you. And you're just going to let it go. And uh, that's what this Three of Swords is. Um, yeah. Three of Swords, you know, conflict and intellectual movement, force. You know, so yeah, you could just be whatever it was that was hurting you earlier. And uh, everything seems to be working out and you will eventually just let it go. Whatever it is that was upsetting you, just shrug it off. Let it go. Get it out of your life. Two of Wands is you are going. You're walking away. And, um, yeah, looking for another place. So, uh, the Knight of Wands is somebody who's going to help you out very fast. So, Wands, you know... It's all inspiration, spirit, passion. So, and the Knight of Wands is, uh, um, you know, movement. Somebody's going to come along and help you. You're going to get a lot of help here. That's what I see, a lot of help. Intellectual help, uh, financially, and maybe materialistic. And then someone's going to help you out, someone very loving. is just going to help take care of you uh, a little bit, maybe cook for you. You never know. And um, two of the Wands. Wands is also very passionate and um, qu quick, very fast moving uh, stuff. So whatever it is you're planning on doing, whatever is going to happen and you want to get rid of it, you will and you'll start a new life or a new, whatever it is you've got going on in your life, a new project that will start and uh, yeah, you will get some help. It'll happen very fast and um, very with great passion that's what it is great passion okay any messages any more messages any more messages my goodness for Gemini <laughs> oh, I'm a Gemini I know we're all crazy oh, any messages for Gemini for the month of April this is all happening in April April for Gemini anything happening any messages Anything they need to know for the month of April. Any kind of message for Gemini for the month of April. Okay, any message for Gemini? Wisdom, ooh, wisdom. You're gonna get some great advice, great advice, so you will be helped. And that's where these guys come along. You know, you see these two? Very good. So you will get lots of advice. If you need it, you will get it. So anything kind and loving, any messages, Kind and loving messages for Gemini. I mean, after all this, they need a kind and loving Gem uh, message for Gemini for the month of April. So whatever's happening in April. Anything kind and loving. Is there a message for them? Any message for Gemini? month of April. Okay. Ooh. Ooh. 
new love. New love. There you go. So whatever is going to happen here, you know, just let it go. Let this stuff go. Whatever it is you're, that's upsetting you, get rid of it. You got some new love coming. You know what? It could be a new person in your life or it could be the same person you're with. And maybe you're just going to work things out and heal whatever it is that had upset you. And um, embrace an opportunity for love in your work. Uh, prospects or for spiritual growth. Ooh, that's good. New love. I like that. I can use some of that. <laughs> I think everybody can. Okay. Message for Gemini for April. Anything that they need to know about April? Anything they need to help them out for the month of April? Gemini, month of April 2021. Is there a message for them? Always. Okay. Okay. You're already doing it. Oh, stop overthinking. Keep facing your true north. So whatever it is, you're already doing it. Isn't that great? That's a spiritual message. <laughs> okay, so I think that's it. I hope you all enjoyed this. If you did, give me the thumbs up, please, and um, hit the um, subscription button. <laughs> this is bothering me because I'm also a Gemini. And yeah, I know we're all very emotional and passionate people and crazy. <laughs> but anyhow, so anyhow, I hope you enjoyed this and you guys have a great day.